Here are two balls that are the same size, same mass, same color, but very different in a very important way. One is a happy ball, all the kids want to play with it. The other is a sad ball, and for obvious reasons, none of the kids want to play with it. Here's the question. We'll drop these two balls from the exact same height. Which one, which one of these two imparts the greater force on the table? To answer that question, let's use our knowledge of impulse. Well, what is impulse? First of all, impulse is simply the change in momentum. And don't forget that momentum defined as the mass times the velocity. And we know that the average force exerted on an object is the change in momentum, or the impulse, divided by the amount of time it's in contact with the surface. So let's write this out. Change in momentum of the object. And then here, this is the amount of time object is in contact during collision. In this case, it's, in, it's the amount of time the ball is in contact with the table. Well, if we drop them from the same height, using your knowledge of energy conservation or kinematics, we know that they will hit the table with the same speed. And I'll call that speed V. So, so they drop from here, and they both land here the instant before it hits the table has some speed v, and same thing for this guy. The instant, instant before it's the table has some speed v. Well, for the happy ball, we'll make this guy the happy ball, it then immediately comes back up with the same speed v went back up to just about the same height. The sad ball, however, as we know, immediately after, just sits here. So after, its speed is zero. So we'll call these uh, the initial speed right before the collision, the final speed right after. And now, let's figure out the impulse for each. Well, for the happy ball, the change in momentum, well, it's just the uh, mass of the ball before the collision. Oh, sorry. Let's be careful. Change in momentum is P final minus P initial. The Final momentum for the happy ball, well, it's mv, and um, it's in the positive direction. Before, it's mass times the initial speed, which is just a negative v, because it's going downward in the negative direction. These two become positive, and we get a change of impulse for the happy ball with 2mv. Now for the sad ball, it's a different story. Change in momentum, the final minus the initial. Well, we have, in the final situation, we have zero because it's not moving. But then initially, it's the same as the happy ball. It's um, mass times a negative V here. So we just get MV. 
So the happy ball imparts twice the impulse on the table as the sad ball, and assuming that uh, the contact time is the same for both, it will also impart a greater force on the table than the uh, sad ball. And that's um, a lesson always. If you're, if you're jumping, like on a trampoline, it's going to be more force than if you, when you come back up than if you just come to a stop.